Hey number one, welcome in. I'm excited to start your reading. Today we're gonna begin with messages for singles about what's coming next in love with a focus on when. So we're gonna start with your general message from the Queen of the Moon Oracle today um, about love in general for you. Okay, so you were drawn to the message of focus. And as you can see, there's a woman who's kind of in deep thought or meditation. There's a butterfly on that third eye area and we have an almost full moon. And it's card number 14. Focus. Hmm. I think with focus, there's a message here for you about really kind of focusing within, focusing on what you believe to be true when it comes to relationship. I think this is a message for you about not listening to any sort of negativity or gossip. Um, 14 is a number five, and in the tarot, that represents challenges and turning points. Um, the number 14 card is temperance, which is all about balance and focus and also patience. Um, you know, what we put our attention on matters and we get success where we put our attention. And so I feel like this is a very strong message for you when it comes to love and um, your future in relationships and with love, that it's really important for you to um, not care about the opinions of others. Don't let them get in the way. Focus on yourself and relationships and what you want, okay? Don't procrastinate, focus, it's time. Um, don't worry about other people's drama. Put your attention where it counts, okay? So I feel like for some of you, there could be a situation going on in your life right now, or there could have been in a situation recently where, um, you know, you had some challenges with relationship or you're having challenges in your life right now. And the message here is that you're at a turning point. With temperance, you know, temperance is about finding that balance between action and inaction by really, really kind of getting to the heart of what's most important. So I think that that's, that's really, that's where you're at right now. And that's what's most important with this message of focus when it comes to love and what's coming next for you. I do feel like you're at a turning point because fives are turning points. Um, now the stone connected to this card is carnelian. If you were interested in working with that stone, if you are facing challenges, if you've recently gone through some difficulty, some conflicts, um, that might help you. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. What's coming next in love? I'm gonna start with the tea leaf oracle. And then we're gonna to get to actually, to timing to a specific month for you. Okay, let's start here. This feels like a good amount. You have broken ring, parting of the ways in either romance or business. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. That's like that third eye message. Wow, powerful. Pineapple, reconciliation. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. Beetle, good fortune, awesome. We love to see good fortune. And V for victory. Anybody with the name that starts with V out there? Okay, victory. 
in some endeavor. So you have good fortune, you have victory. A meeting with a stranger is going to be important coming up in the future. This could be a person that you end up having a relationship with, or this could be that turning point that I talked about earlier. Okay. But I do see good luck and good fortune and success coming for you. And what's interesting about Beetle, it makes me feel like it's been a long time coming. So maybe it's something you've really been working on for quite a while. So trust your intuition. Any kind of business dealing, trust your intuition. I think that it's not going to steer you wrong. Okay, focusing is really important right now. What I'm curious about over here is the message of broken ring. Some of you may have had a divorce or a breakup in a relationship. Could be a business partnership, but I mean, there is kind of a fairly decent amount of messages here connected to business, but we are looking at relationship reading today. So the focus is there. There's some sort of reconciliation as well. So there's a parting of ways in romance or business and a reconciliation. So some of you may break up and get back together. That might be coming up, okay? Interesting. Okay, so now I'm gonna roll the Astro Dice. Let's see what energies, what signs, what messages we have about what's coming next in love for you. Okay, so you have Jupiter. There's the good fortune. Yes, and the victory message. Okay, the 14 in the tarot is the temperance card, and that is connected to Sagittarius, which is ruled by Jupiter. So we could have another connection here with a Sagittarius person or Sagittarius energies time period, which is coming up very quickly. We're in Scorpio season, but we're moving towards Sagittarius season. You have the number four, okay? We had 14 and we have four. Four is interesting because Five, this is the number that comes obviously before five. Fives are about change, about challenges and turning points. Four is about structure, solid um, security. So I feel like you're maybe moving towards something that is much more solid. It could be connected to also home, moving in together, um, buying a house, that kind of thing. There could be a connection to your birth family as well. And you have Gemini. Okay, beautiful. Now, let's get some details about what's coming next in love. Oh, interesting. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is connected to Fortune here, and the Four of Cups, both reversed. Here's the shift. Um, if you have been feeling stuck, if you have um, had a hard time recently when it comes to love, if you've been feeling like bored or if you have been focused on some past losses, your focus, this is so interesting because focus was your message. Okay, and you're getting the Four of Cups, which is about focus. And the message here is that focusing on these past emotions rather than an opportunity, which is right here, that one cup that the universe is giving you, that's the good fortune that's coming in. And the message here is don't be stuck in the past. Don't allow the any sort of naysayers, anybody negative, even your own mind, your own negativity stop you from believing that there is just a, there is love right around the corner. You know, things change on a dime. And even if we've been in a period of difficulty, even when we have um, gone through some tough things, there's always an opportunity for change and things happen quickly. Now, not for all of you, but for some of you, there could be a breakup and then a reconciliation, okay? Because we have the good fortune, for, the wheel of fortune reversed and the good fortune upright, okay? So we do have another message of Jupiter and that is connected to Sagittarius. I do feel like there could be a Sag here in this connection. 
Okay, let's see what else comes through for number one. What's coming next in love? Three of Wands, beautiful. Okay, Wands are fire energy, which is Sagittarius. It's about it can be about travel. It can be about making plans for the future. Um, this is also a card of looking for opportunities that are coming. Like the ship has come in, the thing that you've waited for. Again, back to that beetle message. I felt like this has been a long time coming for, for most of you. Um, this good fortune is just ahead of you. You can see it. You can see it up ahead. So focus. Look what she's doing. She's focusing on that ship. She's focusing on that opportunity. She's not turned around looking at the past. She's not focused on the past hurts or the past losses. Okay, she's going to focus on that cup. And so she's not going to miss that opportunity when it comes in. There is some sort of meeting with a stranger that's going to shift your life. Okay, so focus is really important and not letting anyone tell you you can't do whatever it is that you want to do okay there is some sort of connection with love here with this opportunity okay it could be through travel it could be that you're making plans to make a move we had the fourth house which is home and family um, you could be physically moving and making plans for that but there's something calling to you what else do we have for number one and then I'm going to pull you your month card and we're going to see when this energy and this love is connecting or beginning to connect let's see what else do we have any other messages for number one Wow. Okay, fire. Okay, knight of wands. Here you are. There's the three of wands, the Jupiter message, two uh, Sagittarius messages with the wheel of fortune. Okay, so it looks like the opportunity is coming in quick. This is someone who is a fire sign. Um, I feel like they have a lot of, the energy around them feels successful. It feels to me like they have a lot of success in their life, possibly a lot of money. They don't have to. Money isn't the only way you can have success. They can just be a successful person. Um, but this is fire sign energy, Leo Sag Aries, somebody who's going to be moving fast, somebody who's got a lot of fire, a lot of excitement, focus. Don't let anyone deter you right now. If you are thinking about making a shift or a change, if you have a project or something that's important to you, don't let gossip, don't let anyone divert your attention. Don't let yourself divert your attention, right? By focusing on past things. Let's get moving. The wheel of fortune is about to shift. You don't want to miss out. Okay, start planning now. Your ship is coming in. Okay, so it's all about focus right now. And I do feel like you probably know what the opportunity or maybe the trip you want to take or the move you want to make. There's something that wants to shift. Okay, you're at a turning point. This is about getting those emotions in balance so that you can put all of your energy into positive momentum because whatever we focus on, we achieve. Wow. Okay, let's go and see what month comes up for you today. When is number one connecting with this love energy of the Knight of Wands? When is this beginning to shift and change and the turning point for you is September. Okay, so September is an important month. So you've got time. You've got time to plan. You've got time to focus. There is a big shift up ahead. I am so excited for you. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, 
hit the notification bell once you subscribe. All those things are super important to me. That's the way you can give back for all the free content I provide every month. Without those likes, comments, and subscribes, then I can't keep coming back. So please do that. Um, say hello. Tell me what you're thinking, how you connected with today's reading. If you want to leave a tip or donation, there is a green heart in the description box. Go ahead and do that. I am raising money to buy new equipment so that I can do lives and really, really great reading. So go ahead and do that. It also helps purchase new um, decks, uh, which I am doing. I'm purchasing two new decks because September and October, we didn't get there in terms of buying the new equipment, but we have enough to purchase the deck. So I'm going to do that. Um, and it really does help. I am sending you so much love and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, number two, I'm excited to get started with your reading today. We're going to focus for singles on what's coming next in love. And today I'm going to look at a specific month as well. I'm going to pull you a card with a specific month of when love and this reading in general can be activated or triggered. So first we're going to start with your overall message about what's coming next in love or just a message that you need to hear today as a single who's looking for love. Okay. And I am using the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Your message is card number 11, fear. It's a waning gibbous moon, and we see a lot of sort of strings pulling at this person and these black crows, 11 of them pulling in different directions, and there's even a bird cage there, okay? So take a moment, see what you're feeling when you look at this card, see if it's resonating for you today. I think with the message of fear, what I'm getting is that you need in this moment to be courageous when it comes to love, okay? Fear can pop up in different ways. It could be that you're a people pleaser. It could be there's envy around you or jealousy. Um, maybe you have an avoidant personality or you're someone who's afraid of success in some way or afraid of failure. And so fear might be getting in the way. Okay, and I think the important message for you today when it comes to love is be afraid and do it anyway, right? I'm also getting um, a message about slow and steady. Take it one step at a time, whatever is making you afraid, or even if it's just kind of a general fear about relationships or love or giving your heart to someone or um, being hurt again, don't worry about what others think and feel about you, okay? Don't make comparisons, right? So many times we just look at what other people are doing, or I should be X, Y, and Z. Look at my friends or look at, you know, it's just like, no, don't allow that to stop you. Who cares what other people are doing? This is your story, this is your journey, okay? Now, the number 11 card is a beautiful karmic card. It's a spiritual number. Um, it's connected to the justice card in the tarot. And justice is about your karmic um, actions being rewarded, right? It's about truth. It's about honesty. It's about justice. Um, it's also, if, if you uh, narrow it down to one digit, it's a two card, which is connected to the high priestess right? The high priestess is someone who balances that spiritual knowledge and that practical realm, and she uses and trusts her intuition. Um, the high priestess and the energy of the 11 is connected to healers. It's connected to um, creative people. So you might be someone that has like psychic abilities or is very, very sort of sensitive. Um, but just remember, fear teaches you something, okay? Otherwise, it would be useless. And I really feel like for you, you're coming into a very strong and powerful spiritual awakening with that 11 card because I'm doing this reading on 1111. So it's extra special, this message. Um, this is also the connection to twin flames. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out for you and your reading, but that's kind of the overall message for you today. And I hope that that, that helps you in terms of wherever you're at.
okay? So let's get started first with the tea leaf messages. For number two, what's coming next for number two? Let's take a look at this. This came out first, and this is Teardrops, Great Personal Sorrow. So, you know, that can account for why you're having fear. There could be something you're afraid of because you've been you've had a loss or um, something that has really hurt you, okay? And that makes a lot of sense. Um, you have Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere, okay? So you wanna watch out for that. If there's someone around you that you can't trust or that isn't really, you know, this could be someone that is making you feel bad about yourself by comparing you to other people, okay? So just watch out for that. Um, you have bowl, plenty of material things, so that's good. We have, it looks like you either have everything you need right now materially, or you will soon. Bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. Okay, I love seeing that because you're, you're at that moment where you're allowing whatever this sorrow is, whatever the fear is to kind of lead you as i said i got the message slow and steady one step at a time over that bridge um angel spiritual guidance protection from harm the 11 card okay so beautiful you have an angel protect protecting you and gong an exciting event okay wow so what a shift what a shift Let's dig in a little bit and see what's coming next in love for you. I love the idea of an exciting event. This could mean that there's something coming up that you could be invited to. There's something that is going to connect you with love in the future. You could be asked out on a date. You're meeting somebody really exciting. Let's see what messages come through for you about this exciting event. Feel the fear and do it anyway. That is very strong for you today. Oh, look what the exciting event is. A gift of love, a new love is coming in for you. You have the Ace of Cups. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is such a beautiful message to get. You have new love coming in. This is someone who is ready to give you their heart. This could scare you because maybe you've never had this before, or maybe it's you're afraid of being hurt, but this person is very genuine, okay? And this is an opportunity, a new person, okay? We have an ace here. Could be a water sign, doesn't have to be, but water signs are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What else do we have for you about this new love? Ooh, the Empress. Look at this. Wow. This is you feeling empowered. This, is, this person sees you as somebody really, really attractive. The Empress. The Empress knows fear, but she does it anyway. The Empress knows her value. The Empress is connected to Libra energy. Some of you may be Libras because we had the 11 here, which is the Justice card and the Empress, which can be Libra. It's also connected to Taurus. Doesn't have to be, but you can, you're embodying this. This is also about fertility. Some of you, the exciting event could be having a baby. Um, if that's something you're interested in. But this is about feeling empowered and beautiful, being nurturing, growing things. The Empress is surrounded by luxury. Look at this with the plenty of material things coming up in the future. So I see you sitting on your throne. I see you feeling comfortable, happy, having a, just a beautiful, luxurious surrounding. Like, look how comfortable she is. Wow. The 
Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords can be that person that we talked about, which is the feather. Could be an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Let me pull that one out. Doesn't have to be. This is somebody in your circle or somebody coming in. Um, could be a neighbor, could be a friend, um, friend of a friend, okay? They're not sincere. They could gossip, okay? Again, that can be that, you know, sort of person saying things or doing things um, that are trying to pick at you. You know, when you're the empress, you're gonna have a lot of people come for you. So um, this can also be some sort of news, some sort of invitation. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. I can't help it. It's like I was called to look at it. Oh my gosh, okay, we're putting those down. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Um, we have the key, we have the Knight of Cups coming in. We definitely have the Knight of Cups. He's carrying a cup. This is the person coming in. This is love energy. Look what it leads to. And oh my God, this is the 1111 card. And today is 1111. Ah, goosebumps. Okay. The four of wands. This is a party, a celebration. This could be the invitation. You could get an invitation that you are nervous about going to, but guess what? You are going to connect with the beautiful Knight of Cups who's got this cup. That's their emotions, that's their love. They're ready to give it to you, okay? And look what comes. The Nine of Cups, happiness, joy. Ah! Oh! Let's, I meant to roll the Astro Dice before, but let's roll it now and see what else we need. Any other signs and symbols today? Ah, there's Libra, the Empress, and the Justice card, okay? So there you go. Those are emphasizing those two messages, which is being courageous, right? All your good karma and all the good choices and decisions you've done and made are leading to this sense of empowerment, of having plenty, of being bountiful. The 10th house is the public. It is connected to work possibly or something happening in a public setting, which could be that beautiful event that you're going to. This can also mean engagement for you in the future. And we have the North Node, which is, this is your destiny. This is a karmic connection. This is a big deal. Ooh. Okay, now let's get to the good part. Let's get a month for you. What month is important for number two when it comes to this reading today? And love. June. Wow, that's a month when a lot of people get married. So kind of interesting. June is Cancer season and Gemini season. Okay, so we it could be also a connection to that. But June is your month. Oh my gosh, please let me know. This is so exciting. Um, please be sure to find the like button, subscribe button, write all your comments below. Those things are so important to keep my channel going and to show your support. Otherwise, I can't keep bringing content every month. And if you want to show extra support, um, go ahead and leave a tip or donation. There's a green heart in the description box. It's gonna help me buy new equipment, purchase new decks, and thanks to all the beautiful people who supported me in September and October, I'm able to buy two new decks. So I'm gonna do that. I'll be debuting them soon, probably for December. Um, I'm sending you so much love and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, number three, let's get started on your reading. Today is focusing on messages for singles about what's coming next in love with a focus on when. And I'm going to pull you a specific month at the end of the reading. So let's get started. We are going to start with a message from the Queen of the Moon. This is your message, number three. This is something you need, you were drawn to about love in general. Um, and what's coming next. Okay, so you have card number 34, the hot moon, <laughs> hot, hot, extremes. Okay, and we have a cold glass of water and we have the sun, the bright, hot moon, the sun, the hot moon, the moon is so red, it looks like the sun. And this is card number seven. Okay. Extremes. Well, it's kind of interesting because um, 
This feels like a message about finding some sort of balance for you. Um, how you're handling something. Maybe there's a, a major conflict that you've been through. Maybe there's something you're really angry about. Maybe there's a situation that you've been going hot and cold or someone in your life has been hot and cold. Um, it feels like somebody is making you sweat. Somebody is bringing some sort of disruption to your life. And I feel like I'm meant to tell you that this will pass, right? that these extremes, whether it's like a loss of a job, it could be a loved one, um, it's about you, like you, you focusing on your happiness and joy rather than letting extreme situations or um, any kind of external things um, throw you off or make you angry or get you to a place where um, you're feeling anger or rage, okay? Um, the seven card, the seven card in the tarot is connected to the chariot. The chariot is all about success. It's about being determined. It's about being in control. So I feel like there's a message here for you today that you need to hear that you're in control of your life, right? And no matter what sort of challenges come your way, um, it's like nothing is gonna take you off your course. And this is about you finding that balance between um, really, really getting angry about situations or people and really finding that sort of middle ground, okay? Um, because when you think about the chariot, the chariot is usually pictured as somebody controlling two horses without even having reins. It's like there's different things going on in your life, but you need to kind of find that middle ground and that balance, okay? But you're in control. So I do also feel a lot of passion here <laughs> coming up. You can't help but feel there's a lot of heat going on here. Um, and there could be something about um, a connection that goes hot and cold, hot and cold, but we'll see. I don't think that's for everyone. Um, and the the stone connected to this is sunstone. So if this is a situation you're in, or if you're dealing with a lot of anger about something or someone, that might be a stone you could work with, okay? But let's start with messages from the tea leaf. And we'll see what we have for you today about what's coming next. I am gonna, as I said, pull a card for you for a specific month, so hang in there. Ooh. What do we have for number three? Ooh, that's too many. That one. Okay. That feels right. Okay, so let's get started. You have a lot of messages. We have elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at, in the end, at the end. Some sort of long journey. Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Okay, that could be part of this extremes that we talked about. Weeping willow, family sorrow. So. Um, you could be getting um, or having some difficulty or struggling because of a family situation. Um, you have the star, which is connected to the star card of healing, and there is guaranteed success for you in the future. So I love that because there is some difficulty here. Um, I like that there is also that healing energy. Ink pot problems to be solved. Yeah, the extremes here. It definitely feels like you have a lot going on, okay? Claw, be careful, do not take risks. And heartache over what you no longer have. Bird flying, news is on the way. Okay. I'm gonna sort through these.
You've got quite a few. And what's kind of interesting is you started with the extremes, right? Really great things, really hard things. And it feels like that's kind of what's up ahead. But at the yeah. end of it, you're gonna think, wow, I've been through a lot. The elephant has long tusks, which means it's like older. So it feels like even if you're young, this is a lot to go through in your short time. And if you're older, you've been through a lot of relationship stuff, but it teaches you so much. Um, I think you have to be careful for sure because the extremes message can be about anger and it says don't take risks. So this could be about anger of you that you're having and feeling or it could be someone around you. Um, someone in a relationship with you. So you want to be super careful of that. Um, I think that, you know, if you have been suffering with a family loss or family sorrow, I do think that um, there is something that's going to be solved here. Okay. Um, there is news on the way. So it's kind of like if you look at the ink pot, this is an old fashioned way to write with pen and ink with a feather. And then you have, see the feather? They would use a quill to write in the ink in the olden days. And then you have the bird flying, which is news on the way, which is a feather. So I feel like someone's gonna be reaching out to you soon. Somebody's gonna be contacting you. It could be someone that you've had a family difficulty with, someone you've had some heartache over, um, somebody that you were worried that they were against you in some way, okay? But I feel like it's going to, be resolved, whatever that is for you, because you do have news on the way, you have guaranteed success. So although these are some difficult energies, for some of you, you could have been gone through a difficult breakup. This reminds me of the Three of Swords, which could be a cheating situation or a third party, but there's definitely a stab in the heart. Um, it's like, listen, you've been through a lot, but it is, you're going to come out on the other side stronger, wiser, and in charge. Like, you're in charge. No matter what craziness or anxiety or stress is going on in your life, think about that person on the chariot. Um, but you do, I believe, have someone co contacting you now. This could be an ex. This could be a family member. This something, someone is going to reach out, okay? That's for sure. Let's roll the Astro Dice and see if there's any clues here about what we're dealing with and then I'm going to pull you some tarot about this situation. Okay, so we have, look what you have, the seven, the chariot. You have the seven here. 33 plus four is seven, that's what I was talking about. That's a confirmation of the message of the chariot. Some of you could be moving too um, or taking a trip. And we do have that message here a long journey, either physical or mental. So for some of you, there could be a long trip coming up or a move. You have Mercury, which is that communication. Again, confirmation of a message coming in, someone reaching out, somebody wants to tell you something, and you have Libra. It could be a legal issue, it could be connected to a Libra, could be connected to an ex-spouse or a future spouse, because Libra is the seventh house in astrology, and that is um, marriage, long-term partnership. So that could be coming up for you. Okay, let's see. Wow, let's dig into this reading. What's coming next in love for number three? This one is, I really hope you're going to write your comments below and let me know what's happening for you and how you're connecting with this reading. I really want to know. if this is really resonating. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles, which is an opportunity, an offer, a new path opening up for you, connected to possibly a job, to money, to something that can grow long-term, and the Page of Cups reversed. Um, I do feel this can be a, that hearing from somebody that you had a falling out with, but let's see. And it could be someone in a past connection, love connection with that page of cups. Um, let's get more on that page of cups. 
Knight of Swords reverse. Yeah, this has definitely taken a while. So this would be somebody that there has been some no contact situation for quite a while. Okay, because this isn't moving. This hasn't moved quickly. You've waited a long time for this message. But news is on the way. Yeah, this is waiting a long time. Um, this can be also you taking some time to physically uh, like feel better. You know, some of you might not have been feeling physically great and it could be connected to a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo male, someone about money too. Look at this. You have this offer coming in, this new opportunity. You could be hearing from somebody, somebody from your past about about money, about an inheritance. And for some of you with that family loss, that could be part of it too. Let's see. Ooh, beautiful. You have two aces. The ace of wands, I love. This is you coming out of the cave. And I love that the ace of wands came through for you um, because you started with the message of this hot moon and that's that fiery energy. And it's like dark outside and there's the hot moon and this person's inside. This is a cave and here we have that wand. This is an opportunity, an offer, um, something that is going to bring back your hope and make you excited, okay, when it comes to love. This is also a passionate connection. I do see a new love interest coming into your life and um, I feel like they could be a fire sign. Leo Sag Aries. Okay, so first, the tower. There we go. So it's the extremes. Um, like I said, there's some sort of upheaval. Uh, there's some sort of major change, something you don't see coming. Um, it's connected to the Ace of Wands, so I do think it's positive. Sometimes we get a shock and it comes out of nowhere, but it's exciting. And I feel like in this case, it's jolting you into excitement. The extremes message is coming through here because it's like going from sorrow and difficulty to something exciting that brings you back to life almost. It's like, you're excited by this. We have the, the crown being knocked off. This could be a connection to Leo energy too. We definitely have a fire sign coming in for you when it comes to love. <laughs> Temperance, oh my gosh. Sagittarius, there's the other one. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Temperance. This is about balancing the emotions. This is about extremes and look what's in the, oh. Oh my gosh, I hope you I hope people stay till this reading is done because a lot of stuff comes through at the end. What I want you to notice here is temperance is about finding that balance, right? There's the fire and the water. It's balancing the two. Fire, water. There's even a glass of water there. And look what she's pouring. This is about finding that balance being patient. It's like you've waited a while and this this love energy is coming through and it's like so ex you've got so much going on and it's so extreme. Maybe you've had like, you know, like I said, you've had a lot of disruption or a lot of loss or things like that, but then all of a sudden you get all this happiness, right? And it's about finding the balance, seeking balance, which is what I started the reading with. And look what came through, the temperance message, which is about you seeking balance because you do have love coming. You have a very exciting new love offer. Um, I feel that it's connected to fire sign energy. Let me move these up for you, which is uh, Leo Sag Aries, okay? Okay, now let's find when. Let's get to the exciting part. What month do we have for you, number three? May. Okay, so May is your month. May is the month when this initiates or, um, and that could also be, May could connect back to this ace, this offer, this something that's going to build over time, this opportunity, a job, money, a bonus, something. Um, look at the gate opening and 
pentacles or coins are connected to earth signs, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And what month is Taurus? May. So May it is. May is a very important month for you um, when it comes to what's coming next in love. So if you have been going through these extreme situations, I hope this brings you some sense of comfort knowing what lies ahead, okay? So please write your comments below, find the like button, find the subscribe button. It's free, it's easy, and it's so important for me and my channel. My channel won't get out there. I won't be able to keep coming back if you don't do those things. Um, also, find the heart below in the description, it's green, and leave a tip or donation today. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you lots of love, and I'll talk to you soon.